Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard episode 193. We have got some road to glory in this episode, and we have to grind the road to glory. I'm actually kind of worried that we may not get this May Young, pun intended. Um, <clears throat> I'm on the Survivor Kane. Three days, three days to do it, but it's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be a grind. And I'm working these next three days, so we're gonna we're gonna just have to get through it. But uh, how I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy my video yesterday of Tap Mania. There will be another one of those coming out either much later on tonight or tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, I'll let you know more about that on Twitter. On Twitter, if you if you follow me on my Twitter, that's when you know when my videos go up straight away. Or you can hit that little notification bell down below that will notify you when I go live. Um, that's that's the little cheap plug out of the way. End. <laughs> out of the way. Um, what else? What else did I have to say? Uh, what what day are we today? Is it almost? Are we almost back on to Monday Night Raw? Almost, <laughs> almost. There's nothing. There's almost nothing to do between Tuesday and then like Monday or Sunday, depending on if there's a pay for you, because all the series are pretty much on on on, on hold. So I'm just just looking forward to watching some WWE. But yeah guys, again, Battleground, I know it's happened about almost a week ago now, but again, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments, because it's still being quite, it's still being talked about a little bit, and lots of people still think it was quite a bad pay-per-view, it was, it was, it wasn't the best, it, you know, but I wouldn't go as far as saying it was the worst of the year, an awful pay-per-view, I mean, it was just not the best, it was mediocre, um, but there were some good matches. What I did want to talk about was actually uh, Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. SmackDown in particular, because I don't remember much about Raw, um, except the like Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins storyline that's going on right now, uh, which which has got me a little bit more interested into both Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Was I don't know, I was just not really interested in them uh, before. I think Seth Rollins' face turn has been awful, and Dean Ambrose has been a bit stale recently. But apart from that, that's all good. Let's see how that. Um, develops over the next couple of weeks. What I did want to talk about is more, most importantly a Smackdown and I absolutely loved the last episode of Smackdown. Fantastic, fantastic. Obviously again if I was booking the show I'd do things differently but of what I got, the two hours of Smackdown was good. Um, there are going to be some amazing matches next week on Smackdown. John Cena and Nakamura is going to be one of them. That's going to be really fun. Um, they're giving away that match on free TV. Off oh, just like that randomly. That is the only thing I got a little bit. Again, you know, we, we we could have had this on a pay per view. We this this is a dream match: John Cena versus Shinsuke Nakamura, Mister WWE against well the King of Strong Style. This this is a match, you know. Um, so I'm not complaining that they're giving it us to us on an episode of SmackDown. So well, you know. Nothing to complain about on there, really. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to next week's Magnum. But this week's Magnum was just really, really good. The main event, God, giving a triple threat. Where we're skipping too far ahead. First of all, Chris Jericho Y2J returned to SmackDown Live. I was I popped for it because I wasn't expecting it at all. I uh, thought he wasn't going to be returning for like months. So really happy about that. Hopefully he's back for good because Jericho's such a good addition to SmackDown Live. Um, so yeah, and then obviously he came. Well, he interrupted uh, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, and then uh, Shane McMahon or Daniel Bryan. Pretty sure it was, it was definitely Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon came out triple threat main event for the IC title. Brilliant! What a good main event. That's what you want to see in your main event. Not. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus the Mistourage. Even though I, I like the Mistourage, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, good main eventers, but SmackDown still seems superior to um, to Raw on show wise. Maybe not on pay per views, but on like just their shows. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Um, winner of John Cena Nakamura is going to face Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam. Spoiler alert: It probably is going to be John Cena. Um, that's probably the way they're going to go towards their SmackDown, or the main event for SmackDown on SummerSlam will probably be John Cena, Jinder Mahal, Nakamura, Jinder. It's just not going to. I don't. I, not going to happen. Too 
two non USA non Americans. I don't see that happening. So it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll definitely be interesting. Anyway, let's get into some supercar talks, and that is we actually have a card to pro. I was worried I've only got gameplay in this episode, and I know a lot of people do like only gameplay. A lot of people like getting me getting rewards and stuff. But I do have something, something little to do, but it is something nonetheless. As you guys know, there was a Team RTG the other day, and um, well, the prize, well, the WrestleMania card is a Kevin Owens, which is a pro for me, and I've waited this whole time to pro him. We'll actually gold star him as well, which will trigger a lot less people. And I'm only going to gold star him because I've got so many cards I don't know what to do with that are just taking up so much space in my catalogue. So we're going to finish this match off, guys. We're going to pro uh, that Kevin Owens. We're going to have a little look in Team Battleground, and then we're going to start a King of the Ring, and that will wrap up this episode. Going to have to keep grinding uh, RTG probably all night tonight, um, and yeah, we'll see what I can do. Hopefully, we can get what well, we will end up getting, mate, probably. I always end up getting the card, but it is going to be a close one this weekend. I'm working um, a small shift tomorrow, so try and, I'm going to try and get a lot of grinding done tomorrow, but Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be hell, so I, I hope I can get it done. Anyway, five points on Bubba Ray Dudley, got 30 charges. I should have enough time to get all my charges for Battleground, and uh, I'm going to show you that right now. And also, we are looking for two members, so if you guys are interested, just know there are no exceptions. So, letting me know in the comments, um, you know, if you if you if you don't match the requirements, then there's there's no point asking to join the team. If you are though interested and do meet the requirements, then definitely hit me up on Twitter or just send a. Um, just send a request to join the team and I'll accept as soon as Battleground is over. We're actually looking for two members, as I said. Uh, so here are the requirements. WrestleMania 33 plus plus three event cards in all three slots in your um, in your team deck. If, if you're going to get Mae Young, that's fine. If it's uh, if it's an, a WrestleMania normal pro, we can, we can work out some exceptions. But I said no exceptions and I'm like, we can work out some exceptions. But at least, at least three event cards. Um... You know, at least three event cards, good amount of games played, you know, just show proof that you're a grinder on Twitter. Um, don't have to show proof that you're a grinder if you've got a ton of games played. More than 30k, 20k is good enough. So those are the requirements, guys. Do uh, request a suit. Well, request now if you want, and I'll accept when Battleground is over. So let's get into some Battleground. I'm not sure how many, how many hours do I got left. Seven, yeah, 17 hours left to, to do this. Hopefully, it'll give me the pack animation. I've already opened it on my phone, so I already know who I'm going to get. I think I get three ultimates, and they're all from Raw, so that's quite cool. That's Enzo Moore. I think I get Chris Jericho from Raw as well. No, Braun. And there, there's Chris Jericho. Okay. Then Brock Lesnar, and then uh, Paige, I believe. No, Paige is next. There's Paige. So, quite decent. Quite decent deck. Um, yeah. Decent no hardens, three ultimates, compatible ultimates as well. That's a good tag. Brock's a good solo. Not compatible, but not not compatible in the female tag. So I'll take it, not bad. Everyone here seems to be well, there's only eight members in the team, so that's why it doesn't look like there's many people. And we're facing I don't think this is a WrestleMania it doesn't look like it's a WrestleMania team. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we're all good and we can get a win and a WrestleMania card. Let's get a King of the Ring as well underway. Do I want to wait? No, I don't. I don't really want to wait. May's going to take a while, so we can definitely get this underway. Is everything how we want it? It is. Start King of the Ring. There we go. Hopefully, we can do well in that King of the Ring. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do drop a like if you have. Let me know on Twitter or send a request straight to the team in Supercard if you want to join the team. Remember the requirements, guys. Event cards. Uh, WrestleMania 33 plus plus. All that good stuff. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Till then, take care and peace. Out.